Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you have a great morning this morning. It is a Saturday morning. As always, a Coffee County morning. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, finally getting to this thread started by my wonderful friend, Mr. Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed, uh, where he wants us to go through our album collection just like we're digging. And I'll probably do a little digging this afternoon. Uh, or earlier, earlier, later on this morning, um, go through our albums and dig through and see if we can find something that we haven't listened to in a while or even listened to in a while. Choose three to five albums, and that's what I've done. So thank you, Chris, for this amazing thread. Sorry I'm so late getting to it. Um, had a couple things going on, <laughs> uh, contests and all those other stuff, uh, other videos. Contest entries. There's so much going on in the BC right now, but I definitely wanted to do this thread and uh, um, support Chris because uh, uh, I love Chris. He's an amazing guy. We've done some collaborations together. We've been on uh, uh, live chats together. Um, super, super knowledgeable. An amazing musician as well. So yeah, happy to to uh, to support and help out for sure. So that's what I'm going to do. Is uh, I've chosen five albums from my collection that. Uh, a couple I, I, I even forgot I had, um, one or two I've listened to uh, maybe once, and um, yeah, let's rediscover what I have. So I'll start off with this cool one here. So this is, when you look at this um, album cover, um, if you don't read the writing and you just look at the, because the writing is kind of hard to pick up until you actually look deep into the into the cover. You think it's kind of a psychedelic album. This is Heavy Heads. And if you look, it's really psychedelic. But as you look further, there's uh, like on these snake um, Indian looking um, women, I guess they are. Or there's a uh, writing of the artist on here. What it is, it's on the chess label. This is a blues compilation album, 1968 blues compilation album. Um, I forgot I had it. It was kind of in the mix of other, a pile of albums that um, I don't normally listen to. And uh, I'm so happy I rediscovered it. Um, you've got Muddy Waters. Uh, I'm your Hoochie Coochie Man. you got Sonny Boy Williams, Don't Start Me Too. Howlin' Wolf, Moan for My Baby, Little Walter, Juke, Washboard Sam, Digging My Potatoes. <laughs> I love that title. Uh, John Lee Hooker, Walking the Boogie, Bo Diddley, I'm a Man, Little Walter, Blues with Feelings, Sonny Boy Williamson, uh, Sad to Be Alone, John Lee Hooker again, uh, Let's Go Out Tonight, Howlin' Wolf, The Red Rooster, and Little Milton, I Feel So Bad. I just amazing, amazing blues artist on this one. And uh, yeah, I completely forgot I had this one, but uh, it's going to be into my rotation uh, very, very soon. Listen to it yesterday. Uh, sounds amazing and it sounds so good. And of course, that chest label is, is to die for. But uh, yeah, Heavy Heads. Um, weird title for a blues album, obviously, or a compilation album. Um, and uh, as blues isn't supposed to be heavy. Uh, it's supposed to be deep, obviously, but yeah, so good, so good. Um, really good stuff, heavy heads. Uh, this next one, um, kind of, I think I played it once. This was a um, in a box of albums that was given to me by my good friend Randy from Ottawa. Um, and uh, once I listened to it last night, I said, holy crap, I'm sorry that I... I uh, haven't played it uh, more. This is Wet Willie. Which one's Willie? I love the, <laughs> the title. And I'm thinking, uh, when you look at the back cover, I think that might be Willie. I don't know. Uh, that little kid there. Um, yeah, this is Southern Rock, but um, almost R&B uh, Southern Rock, like a little feat. Um, not like an Allman Brothers band in any way. It's got that uh, more, uh, I call it adult contemporary uh, Southern rock. Um, smooth and um, 
easy going, almost yacht rock type of thing. But uh, it's really good. Really, really good. Uh, these guys are great. Unfortunately, this would be their last album, their seventh album. Uh, you've got um, the last human for the band. Sorry, the last hurrah for the band it, it, that, that I wrote down because the last album. You got um, uh, Ramon, Smoke, The Hard Way, This Time. Just a couple of great tracks on this one. And uh, Jimmy Hall, the vocalist, is a great, great vocalist. And i um, happy to find this one. This is a good uh, good little find out of my dig. And uh, yeah. Wet Willie. Where's Willie? Or which one's Willie? <laughs> Hopefully we'll find Willie. Um, next one was, a, a, again, a, a cool little find. Um, I don't think I've ever played this one until yesterday uh, when I was going through. Um, same box of albums, I believe. Uh, this is Vance 32. Uh, it's on the Atlantic label. Uh, Vance, it's Kenny Vance, uh, 1975 release. Kind of pop and rock and doo-wop. Uh, reminds me of a uh, an American Graffiti style soundtrack. A lot of early 60s sounds on this one. Um, but, of course, modernized. You got Blue Because of You, I'm So Happy, In Each Other's Arms, uh, What a Wonderful World. Great um, remix of that one. Uh, looking for Echo um, on this one. And uh, such a great artist. Um, I believe he's still kicking. But uh, yeah, this is Vance 32. Great album. Not much information on, on him. But uh, cool little find. Uh, throw on every once in a while. Listen to some uh, early 60s style music. Cool stuff. Um, this next one is probably the heaviest album that I have in my collection. And uh, I think I listened to it once when I got it. I just had to have it because of the cover. Uh, it was on a whim buy. Uh, I bought it, listened to it. Wasn't really in the mood, I guess, uh, for that style of music. Uh, but uh, yesterday it just, it just kicked into high gear for me. Um, kind of a heavier motorhead type of sound, which is uh, just fine with me. This is Tank, Breath of the Pit. Um, this is on beautiful red vinyl. If I can find the opening here. Um, this is the, there's two different versions of Tank. Tank is, uh, the new wave of British heavy metal. Um, pretty much written, sung, played by Algy Ward. Um, as I said, there's two versions of, of uh, Tank. There's one by uh, Mick Tucker and uh, Cliff Evans. And then there's one by Al Algy Ward. Uh, this is the Algy Ward version. Um, the, obviously there was a split, um, they went their own separate ways, one to go, one, wanted to go in one direction, the other one wanted to go in the other, and that's what happened, but, uh, yeah, this is, um, an amazing album, again, one of the heaviest I have in my collection, but, uh, one I'm going to be rotating for sure, um, you, you got the title track, Breath of the Pit, um, and, uh, You've got Circle of Willis, Retribution is a great tune. Uh, Victim, really, really great track. Kill or Be Killed is probably my favorite on there. Um, love the riffs on that one. And uh, what a great player. What a great singer as well. Um, happy to find it. It's going to be rotating quite, uh, quite a bit on this one. So Tank, nice little find out of my collection that I forgot I had, even though I played it once, maybe a year or year and a half ago, maybe. I'm not sure when I got it. And then finally, um, The Tenants. Um, this is on the Epic label. Uh, 
I picked it up on a dig, but I don't think I ever played it because I don't remember playing it. Uh, and at first I thought it was the Australian um, pub rock band, The Tenants. But this is actually a, a Toronto-based band. Uh, their only album, The Tenants. Uh, big hit, How Do You Sleep at Night. Also, Sheriff is another big hit for these guys. Um, or a successful hit. I wouldn't say big hit. Um, what's in it for me? Um, kind of reggae pop. Very police sounding. Uh, very men at work kind of combination of police and men at work together. Um, Canadian New Wave band. Um, from Toronto. Uh, and um, yeah, it's... Uh, Great album, great album, very, uh, very nice sounding album. Um, upright bass on there. What do you got on here? You got, uh, you got Look the Other Way, uh, School Girl, I Love Romance, Sheriff, Winner. Then you have uh, How Do You Sleep at Night, You Don't Know What I've Been Through, Connect the Dots, What's In It For Me, and Forget About forgetting so a uh, nice little uh, new wave album again elements of police elements of men at work in this one but uh, enjoyable nice little dig find out of my collection the tenants so there you have it chris there's uh, my thread response um hope you enjoyed and uh, have yourself a wonderful day, guys. And I love you all. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.